And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation, and kindred, and tongue, and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God, and give glory to Him, for the hour of His judgment is come, and worship Him that made heaven, and earth, and the sea, and the fountains of waters. And some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said unto him, Master, rebuke thy disciples. And he answered and said unto them, I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. I want to quote Ellen G. White in her book, Education. The greatest want of the, na of the world is the want of men. Men who will not be bought or sold. Men who in their innermost souls are true and honest. Men who do not fear to call wrong by its right name. Men whose conscience is as true to duty as the needle to the pole. Men who will stand for the right though the heavens fall. I want to quote Ellen G. White in her book, Education. The greatest want of the, na of the world is the want of men. Men who will not be bought or sold. Men who in their innermost souls are true and honest. Men who do not fear to call wrong by its right name. Men whose conscience is as true to duty as the needle to the pole. Men who will stand for the right though the heavens fall. And other sheep I have which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. It is Satan's plan to weaken the faith of God's people in the testimonies. Next follows skepticism in regard to the vital points of our faith, the pillars of our position, then doubt as to the Holy Scriptures and then the downward march to perdition. When the testimonies which were once believed are doubted and given up, Satan knows the deceived ones will not stop at this, and he redoubles his efforts till he launches them into open rebellion, which becomes incurable and ends in destruction. <laughs> 